Let's see what this is all about. You may have noticed, I am not in Japan. You are correct, congratulations. For those of you who don't know, me and my have been trying to move to Japan now for quite a while. Three years. Three years. <laughs> Uh, even just make- oh god, ow. Oh, okay, so he's talking about the move to Japan. Initially, I thought he was starting to complain to say why he's still here. Because earlier on, he had put up a post on his uh, community tab, where he was saying he's taking a break or something in those lines uh, for a while. But uh, the number of videos that kept on dropping on the channel were, were pretty consistent, so... I thought maybe I'd scheduled them earlier on before I'm making that announcement but this video looks pretty new and still dealing with the current affairs and now he's talking about his move uh, to Japan with the wife so uh, I guess I'd, uh, his break was only a couple of hours Even just making the choice to move there was really difficult we obviously would be leaving everything that we built here behind all these amazing friends but we just felt like we really want to take on on this adventure while we're still young just getting the preliminary visa just that was a huge process but it didn't matter because we wanted to go so badly i counted all the emails with, with this is quite interesting that they've picked japan as a place to go to as a couple anyway they can experiment with any place they got the money for it <laughs> on earth with the correspondence and it's 700 emails like we're not able to enter because Japan has been kept their border closed for everyone. Uh, even people going through a visa process during this, most of this time at least. And you know, this is obviously because of COVID and, and that's the reason why I avoided making a video even talking about this. Usually I, I share what's going on with you guys, but it just felt like uh, I don't think the world needs someone who's you know, well off complaining how COVID is affecting them. And it's also complicated. That's one thing I like about Felix uh, PewDiePie is that uh, he's very much aware how, how privileged he is, uh, how far he's come. So he acknowledges that uh, in, in that statement where he says uh, someone who's well off in, in terms of money to be complaining is that uh, there are people that are, that are in bad situations that wouldn't be complaining, that would prefer the lifestyle that he has. So he acknowledges that, say, okay, in as much as we wanted this, but because we are uh, uh, prevented to do this because of uh, the, the current pandemic. So that, that's nice of him. The issue, and I just felt like this is going to complicate it more if I talk about it. Uh, and I don't want to read a bunch of headlines. I can already see them like PewDiePie complaints about not being able to enter Japan. I, I get it. It sounds entitled. <laughs> that's pretty true. That's very true. He complains about this. Uh, PewDiePie cries about not going to Japan. Imagine people are, and then they'll put up examples here. So you see the babies are sleeping on the street. So you see the number of people that died here. And then they're like, wait, wait, wait. So I'm glad that he's very much aware of uh, how this would play out if he's just uh, ranting about him and the wife not going to Japan. But at this point, I just wanted to give an update and sort of talk about what we've been through these past two years, because it's kind of driving me a bit crazy. <laughs> uh, I think I bothered my friends and family about this like 600 times and be like, what, what do you think I should do? <laughs> hey! Yeah, it's bothering everyone. The pandemic, everyone is done with it. But anyway, it's not done with the people, so... We saw your own. By the way, what do you think I should do? <laughs> okay. Because uh, every day, I swear at this point, because it's been so long, it, first year was fine, whatever. Uh, every day I go from, we should just give up. This is ridiculous. Like, it shouldn't have taken this long. You know, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. They're not giving us any updates on when they're planning to reopen, you know. Why should they change their mind all of a sudden? It's obviously, what if it takes another two years? <laughs> like, we can't just wait forever. And then we go from that to, we spent three years, all this money, we're all these things, we're gonna go, we wanna... <laughs> and I just jump in between that every single day, and it's, it's awesome. It's great. And that's the thing, like, I feel like I'm living a cautionary tale, and I don't know what the meaning behind it is. Is it never give up, or is it don't give up? Because you never know how close you are. I wish I knew. I, this is the hardest choice I ever made, and I don't know. One of the most difficult part about this whole thing has been not knowing. That's the funny thing about life is that you never know. You there, there's there, there's some um, truth and depth to giving up at the right time or making that letting something go in as much as you wanted it, and then again 
you might be giving up on something just at the moment when it worked out. So I get the predicament that is in. If I knew that they were going to be closed for two years, then at least we could have made some choices around that. We could have made trips to see our family more. We could have not stayed in my office for two years. We thought we'd be here for a couple months max. We could have avoided playing this guessing game of, oh, the Olympics, that surely they're going to open up for the Olympics. They're going to have to have an audience. Okay, no. Um, okay, maybe, maybe now the cases are really low. Uh, and they weren't giving any updates. It's just like, maybe next month. Okay, well, maybe next month, maybe next month, and then maybe next month. And do that 24 times, it's like, maybe this is my fault for being so crazy about it, but it is a big choice to make when you make the choice to move to another country, and it's hard to get just drop that. And as it turns out, I'm not alone in this situation. Uh, there was a New York Times article estimating about 350,000 people stuck in this limbo situation. The same as I am. Not people entering with business visa like I am, but uh, students as well. Who have already paid their tuition, but they're not allowed in. Just want to make it clear, like, it's not tourists. It's not people going, ah, they're still closed. Guess I'll have to reschedule my flight again, you know. It it's people who made this difficult choice and, and they don't even have a choice at this point of then having to wait. And honestly, reading their stories online, because a lot of them have been trying to contact me and send me messages, it, it breaks my heart because if this has been heavy for me, I can't imagine for uh, all these people. And I'm honestly just so sorry. Now that they close- Yeah, the pandemic has been bad for everyone, man closer border for everyone in December. I think that was the last straw for a lot of people. See seeing messages of people giving up, it's just so sad. And another sad part is like, all these people writing me that are in this limbo situation are hoping that I'm gonna like urge on the Japanese government and like do something. But it, they just closed down for everyone. Like even not now, not even. <laughs> That's a funny thing when you're famous, people are automatically assume that you have influence over everyone uh, as well uh, social media influencers uh, be it youtube uh, instagram facebook or whatever platform that you're on uh your pe the people that follow you assume that you have influence on everyone and usually government officials rarely follow influencers like that apart from the corporate bodies because of the trying to promote their their brands but government officials, unless otherwise, so they might not even know who PewDiePie is. Uh, in as much as he's wealthy and uh, he's very influential on YouTube, he, he does not have that leverage over the Japanese government to, to sway any, any decision or policy. Japanese people can exit and return. You know, people that were hoping to see their family abroad can't do that now. It sucks for everyone. So, you know, obviously it's not gonna matter if I talk about it. That's just not the case. And I guess that's the point. People are so desperate that their their last hope is literally some Swedish YouTuber complaining online, which I'm sorry, I'm not even doing. I just wanted to explain my situation. I will say it has been frustrating also seeing that other Japanese people can travel to other countries as they want, but their own borders have been closed for everyone this entire time. Kind of felt like, that's, there's no one else talking about this? Should, am I the one? Am I the only one seeing this? Shouldn't countries like call this out? I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it, but I'm, I am approved to go for five years, which is amazing. Uh, I would love that. But I'm not allowed in. But as part of, part of me acquiring this, I had to get an office in Japan. Do you know how hard it is to get an office in Japan if you're not even allowed to enter the country? <laughs> but thanks to our friends there, we were able to do it. This is part of our visa, we had to have that. Uh, I have a company in Japan, a business ready to set up. I'm gonna pay my taxes, whatever. I have an employee in Japan. I have a house in Japan. I'm approved to go, but I'm not allowed in. And it's like, damn, we're still here, huh? I keep meeting people here and they're like, you're still here! And it's like, yep, still here. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm almost like, sorry for even making <laughs> that, that, that That's the most painful thing. Especially when you share the story, no, I'll be leaving, and then so and so, and then it does not happen when you expect it. And everybody's like, oh, you're still here? So that, that's that's a little bit awkward. So I feel, I feel it's pain. In this video, it feels, it just feels super lame. I don't like talking about this. It feels like I'm complaining and I feel entitled. But 
you know, I appreciate being able to talk about my situation and I hope that other people in my same situation can find some comfort that you're not alone. And Japan, if you can give an update at least, a lot of people would appreciate it. And that was it for my update. Still not in Japan, but I'll be fine and I'm happy either way. So thank you for listening. That's it. Bye. Short and simple, straight to the point. That's nice.